Good afternoon, boys and girls, mommies and daddies, and grandmommies and grandpappies. You know, I just looked at the clock about a half hour ago, and I believe, if I remember right, it was 12.14. I do apologize. 15 minutes late. Please don't fire me. Um, you remember Wednesday's um, story was all about the... Um, um, <laughs> what was it about? The sardines. How could Grandmommy forget that one? Um, I think I'm going to dedicate that to my son. I'm going to send it to him and uh, dedicate it to him because um, the last time I knew, he loved sardines, and I think he would get a chuckle out of that story. Well, today's story, as you probably have read, is called A test in colors. Now, the reason why it's called a test in colors is because you remember that Miss Eileen, their teacher, was going to send for another big coloring strip. And you remember how they did it before? They started on this blackboard here, and they taped it up, and they went all the way down to the end and turned the corner and came all the way up, and it almost fit that entire blackboard. And they taped it on that end, and they've colored all over it. Well, she had read the direction, or she had read the description, rather, of all the different coloring papers that she could get for them. And this one was called a test in colors. And what they wanted her as a teacher to do was to check and see if the boys and girls had colored the, the right colors in whatever they were coloring, the object that they were coloring. Well, this paper, instead of having a, uh, a picture, like, you know, a house and trees and a river and such as that, like the other one did, this one just had objects, had things, like a ball. They did have a tree, um, a book, you know, pair of skates and so the children were supposed to color all these little objects all over the paper in the right color. So what she thought she would do in order to be fair, she would, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, she had her best friend to come over and they laid it out on the floor and they took a yardstick now, a yardstick is a great big long ruler, okay? And um, three feet, I think it is. And they made squares. They drew a line down, drew a line down. So each square, they put the child's name up on top. Well, usually, Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly, they like to do things together, okay? But she split them apart this time. So she had one on this end and one on this end. And then the other little piggy got that corner section. And so she put Patty Pig's name up there and she put Sally Skunk's name up there and she put Allie the Alligator's name up there and Little Bad Wolf's name up there. And then, she, you know, the rest of them belonged to the kids in town and their names were up there on the board. So, when they got to school this morning, they came in. Wow, look at that. Miss Elaine got the pic. Wait a minute, that picture looks different than the one we did before. And she started laughing. She says, well, boys and girls, you don't want to do the same picture. And they said, well, no, but we thought we would do, I mean, we'd have like cars and, and, and clouds and, 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 and a tree. She says, no, we're going to do something different this time. So she told him, she says, okay, find your name up on the top. So they, well, first, of course, she took the roll, and then they had the Pledge of Allegiance, and then they had the Lord's Prayer. Grandma forgot about that. So they got through, and they sat down, and she says, okay, now, boys and girls, she said, I'm sure you've looked around enough to know where your name is located, so I want you all go very quietly to the board and bring your box of crayons with you. So they did. They got their crayons out. 
And she says, now, she said, I've divided the board into how many children we got in this class now? 25, I think it is. She says, so I divided this, the paper into 25 squares. I want you to always stay in your square where your name is. But you have to color every object in your square and you have to color it correctly. So like if you came to a tree, what color would you paint or, you know, color the tree? And they all said green. And she said, of course. She says, that's the right color. She says, so you have to put the right color on the right object. And if you come to a ball or a car or a bicycle, they can be a lot of different colors. So you're free to pick a color that you think that would look nice. If you want to color the ball all different colors, you can. If there's lines in it to make different colors. If you want to color the ball all blue or all brown, if it happens to be a football, now what color is a football? And some, bless his heart, little Jimmy, he's so funny He because he doesn't sometimes know the answers and he says, green! And she says, no, Jimmy, a football is not green. It's and Alley the Alligator says, it's brown. Because, you know, Alley the Alligator, he can run real fast and he's a big boy. And so he he loves to play football. He's always throwing that football around. So she says, okay, everybody got the rules now? And they said, yes, ma'am. And she says, well, we'll start off. She says, I'll give you 20 minutes to color. And you have to be quiet and you have to be good because I have to go down and see Miss Lee, the principal. And now her and Miss Elaine and Miss Lee were real good friends. So she wanted to go down and tell her about the um, the, color, the new coloring piece of paper. So they asked her, when were they going to be doing this? And she says, well, she said, since I divided it into squares with your names on it, she says, I thought that it would be fun to do um, only when you got through with whatever we're doing right now, if we're doing mathematics, if you get through, you turn your paper in and you can go to the board and color. So whenever you get through with one of the subjects that we're doing, you get to go to the board and color. Now, when everybody is through, then you have to, all the people that's coloring have to come back to their seats and we'll do our next subject. Wow, little bad boy says, we're going to get to draw and color all day long because we always get through with our work. And poor little Jimmy down from town, he says, I won't ever get to color because I never get through with my work. And Miss, Miss Eileen says, well, she said, if you don't get through your work, she said, you get special time to color. You can color for 20 minutes before the bell rings. <gasps> oh, Jimmy was so excited because he he had trouble in school. And there's always one in every class that has trouble in school. And poor Jimmy was the one in Miss Eileen's class. And she felt so sorry for him. Well, they had a good time that day. They Most of them got to color at least once during the day. And they broke for lunch. And the lunchroom ladies because it was Friday. Friday's always pizza day. But they just had meatloaf yesterday, so they weren't complaining because they loved this. I think her name was, was Angus. No, a an Angela. Angela. Angus. Angus is a boy's name. Anyway, Miss Angela, she could make a mean meatloaf. She put gravy on top. And one time, you know what she did with that meatloaf? She put mashed potatoes all over that meatloaf like she was icing a cake, like she was putting frosting on a cake. She put potatoes all around, mashed potatoes all around that meatloaf, and then she just sliced it off. So they had potatoes and they had meat. Oh, it was so much fun to eat. 
I tell you right now, you mommy should try that at home because it's real good. Well, anyway, uh, they got the bell rang and they got in the car and mommy says, well, what did you do today? And they, uh, they just hollered all at one time. And it was funny because it was a big, loud holler. We did! Because the, today, Mommy Piggy picked up Patty Pig and Sally Skunk and Ally the Alligator and Little Bad Wolf, plus her three little boys. That car was crowded. It was a good thing she had three seats in that car. Their mamas were all busy. And after they found out, when they called Mrs. Piggy, Mommy Piggy, they found out that all the other mothers were busy too, and she was the only mother able to go and get the kids. They felt kind of embarrassed because each one of them had something. One of them had a doctor's appointment. One of them had a dress appointment that she had to go try on. One of them had a reading group that she was going to. They all had something to do, and poor Mrs. Piggy was the only mama in the woods that didn't have anything to do that afternoon. Now, that's kind of strange. Well, anyway, she picked all the boys and girls up and took them off at each house, dropped them off, and they were just chattering back and forth in the back seats. She had so much fun when she was driving because she was driving and she was listening to the boys and girls talk, and she's laughing, and she's going, oh, you know, like this, you know, because something exciting happened. And she, the boys and girls didn't even pay attention to Mrs. Piggy, though. She, they didn't know that she could hear them, and they were having such a good time talking. And, of course, most of the talk was, what was in your square? What did you call her? Well, Mrs. Piggy knew that that was going to be a fun week because the picture was just as big, but there wasn't quite so many things in each square. And Miss Eileen, the next day, Monday, next time they go back to school, because today's Friday, she's got another surprise for them. But I'll tell you what it is, okay? It's a secret now. Don't tell anybody. What it is, is she's going to let them color, you know, here's Here's all the stuff that they had to color. And her square is this big. Okay? So she's going to let them color all around it. Like it can be green. They can be laying on a green grass. They could be laying in a, in a pool of blue water. They could be up in the sky, a darker blue. Or they could just be yellow or red or anything in the background. But she's going to give them an extra point if it's something real special like grass and water, a sky, a sun, stars. She's not going to tell them she's going to give them an extra point. She's going to see how many's got a good imagination going. That's going to be special. Okay, boys and girls, today is Friday. Kids are out of school for two days. Grandmommy's out of school, not out of school. She's not going to see you for two days. So, I think we'll say goodbye right now. How about that? Um, please do um, share, like, and comment. Would love to see your comments. I keep telling you that. So, um, I think that's it. Uh, special shouts to um, some ladies named uh, Vicki and Joy and Penny and the two special kids, Caden and Zach. Um, is there any other? I, see, I don't know any other children that's watching this or that, or that their grandmas might send it to them, you know. So you're going to have to tell me. So I can say hello to these boys and girls because I don't know their names. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.